Yeah, it's really, I don't think we're as progressive as we think we are, right? I think the Native Americans were probably one of the most progressive cultures in all of human history. But that's not how we're taught about Native Americans, right? I went to public school. I was taught that they were savages. Is that how you guys were taught? Yeah. Savages? Yeah. They're ridiculous. Guys, I get it. I mean, they warred amongst each other, but have you seen us lately? <laughs> Let's not even talk political for a minute, right? Let's just go back to high school. Remember when you were just doodling in your notebook and somebody from the hallway yelled, Fight! Fucking curriculum papers everywhere, chalk dust all over the place, people running down the hallways with camera phones out. And if this was before camera phones, just regular cameras. Just... <laughs> I was too stoned and not like... <laughs> what hippy dippy high school did you go to? <laughs> Carbonell. Carbon. <laughs> I love it. Too stoned to get into fights, and that's why we should legalize weed. <laughs> and then disperse it amongst the children. <laughs> they find their own weed. <laughs> yeah, they probably got better shit than I do. Yeah. They do. Yeah. I think everything about high school is savagery, isn't it? Yeah, think about it. That's a place where we sent hyperhormonal, overly emotional teenagers and then hermetically sealed them into a building for 8 to 12 hours. What? <laughs> Why do we think that's a good idea? Right? I think in high school, the way we better high school is that uh, every day for 45 minutes you should go into a classroom and you just let all of your emotions out. <laughs> That should be a class that you should have, right? Where you just go in, you're like, I don't understand the practical applications of mathematics. The fuck am I going to use a variable in my life? Why does Tommy keep pushing me into the lockers? I don't like it. He never says anything. He just pushes. It hurts my chest, my back. When will my father love me? When will Tommy's father love him? I feel like that problem's connected. You know? I feel like that's what we need. We need some emotional education in high school, right? Let all those feelings out for 40, 45 minutes a day. Yeah, smoke that weed. <laughs> yeah. And then later in life, when you find out that your democracy is a lie, we don't burn down limousines for no fucking reason. We just get together at a coffee shop and we're like, that's all fucked up, right? Cool, let's figure out a solution for it. I bought some chop work. <laughs> Make a plan. <laughs> Ridiculous, man. MMA and boxing, those are savage things, right? They make millions of dollars every year on pay-per-view, MMA and boxing. So calling Native Americans savages because they like to war amongst each other doesn't really hold up when we've turned it into entertainment. Yeah, we might have to take a better look at ourselves first. Yeah. The Arawaks were a fascinating culture. The Arawaks, by the way, are the first culture that Christopher Columbus met on the island. And I'm going to use that term very specifically, met, because you can't discover shit that's already there. <laughs> if that is the case, then in 2009, I discovered the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Thank you. It is a beautiful hole, isn't it? Yeah. I have been having a bitch of a time convincing the state of Arizona to celebrate Christopher Columbus Day. <laughs> It just won't add it to the calendars. <laughs> Isn't that another weird thing we do as a country? Why are we celebrating our genocidal maniacs? Right? Like, <laughs> what the fuck? Why do we do that? I feel like it's one of those things where we're just like, you know what? Eradicating and destroying cultures is difficult. Why don't we just extend the weekend, and then we'll pick this shit up on Tuesday with all the women and children again. <laughs> That got a little bit too dark for you guys. <laughs> there were fans in here. They'd be fanning themselves. <laughs> yeah, man. The Airwalks were amazing, right? The first thing the Airwalks did was welcome them to the island. That's what you do when somebody comes to your house. You welcome them, right? So the Airwalks brought them gifts. They brought them food and animals and... Uh, different type of treasures and stuff. And Christopher Columbus makes fun of them for this. In his journal, he writes that these people are going to be very easy to subjugate and turn into slaves. They will be very profitable for the Spanish Empire. Shit! Do not invite Christopher to a house party. You might end up working at the place you live. 
Right? It's like, holy shit, are we employees where we live now? Did we sign a deed over to Christopher? Damn, that guy is good. He is good. Somebody get him a holiday. Preferably in October. That's when we celebrate the most terrifying of things. <laughs> it's a lot of what they did, man. Uh, in the beginning, a lot of what they did is make fun of the Arawaks, right? They looked down on the Arawaks. Uh, the Airwalks didn't know what steel blades were. They'd never seen weaponry like that before. Because the Airwalks weaponry was all made out of stone and bamboo for this ridiculous idea of hunting and fishing to feed their people instead of murdering each other, which is just... What a ridiculous idea. I mean, guys, how are you going to show people how big your dick is if you can't kill them? <laughs> big dicks never helped anybody. <laughs> what? <laughs> You'll get it on the drive home, so. <laughs> yeah, the Airwalks ended up cutting their hands on the blades because they picked it up the wrong way, right? And uh, Christopher and his men would point and make jokes and laugh at these people, which is all big talk coming from a man that lost three boats because he was too busy sharpening his blade and not his mind. Turn to the roast of Christopher Columbus there for a second, didn't it? <laughs> Only appropriate that an actual Indian person does it. <laughs> yeah, the Arawaks are amazing, man. They're an amazing culture. They're one of the first cultures to figure out what to do with corn. Yeah, that's not an easy plant to grow. It's a, it's a finicky son of a bitch. It takes a lot of tender love and care. You gotta hand husk it, hand re-fertilize it, hand replant it. Right? It's like having kids with less back talk. <laughs> Know that information. Doesn't that give you just a little bit more appreciation for the state of Nebraska? <laughs> and Iowa. <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> Indiana. Ohio. New York. Pennsylvania. Maryland. Dakotas. Minnesota. I can go all night, but we gotta get home at some point. Point, there's a lot of corn in this country, guys. Right? <laughs> We don't really care about what corn, uh, how corn is grown these days, right? We only care about what it looks like when we shit it out. <laughs> 13 years of comedy, that's the dirtiest joke I've ever written, sir. <laughs> and I'm damn proud of that one. <laughs> yeah. The Iroquois, that's another uh, very progressive culture, right? The Iroquois were, were uh, in the States. They're amazing. Got rid of homelessness. Yeah. The Iroquois got rid of homelessness by making sure that everybody had a fucking home. <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's all it is, man. Yeah, we're having a debate about it right now. We're putting spikes under bridges, getting rid of park benches, arresting people for feeding them. It's ridiculous. And the Iroquois were just like, hey, you want like a roof? <laughs> it's a whole society full of Nick O'Connors. It's beautiful. Yeah. It's awesome. They were very good to women. They held women in high regard in their societies. Right? Women could be anything they wanted. They could be hunters, gatherers, artists, military leaders, political leaders, whatever they wanted on top of being mothers, which means that they were feminists before there was even a term for it. Before someone even started a hashtag campaign for it. And yeah. today we're still having an argument about nipples. And the argument is mostly about men's nipples. The question is, should men have nipples? <laughs> and what is the appropriate way to pierce said nipples? You can't talk about the female nipple, it's too sensitive. Thank you, one person. That's all I fucking need. If that lady was the only person that laughed at all of these jokes, it's still the same show tomorrow. <laughs> That's not fucking summer night. <laughs> You want to know how easy a divorce was in Iroquois culture, right? Let's say you're a woman, you're walking around the hut, and you're like, you know what? I'm tired of Bob and his peace piping ass. I'm going to take all four of his belongings and put them outside the hut. <laughs> Bob comes over and he goes, well, shit, I guess I'm going to crash with my buddies for a little while. Divorce over. Yeah. Today we got to get lawyers involved have a conversation about who gets the toaster or the puppy, and that's a real difficult decision to make. Who doesn't like crispy toast and companionship? <laughs> it's called going through a divorce and about 
six gallons of whiskey. <laughs> it's absurd, man. The fact that we call Native Americans savages is completely ridiculous. Instead of killing the Native Americans, instead of genociding all of them, think of how far society would have come if we would have just learned from them. Should we be in Jetsons era by now? <laughs>